Hello adventurers, Melron here. Classic WoW is iconic because of its immersive world, mysterious dungeons, intense PvP, and social community. These aspects are what drive so many of us to venture back once again. However, there are many locations in Classic Azeroth that go untraversed, unseen, or even underappreciated. Some of these places are in plain sight, while others require some digging. This series' aim is to illustrate that there is no need to rush your Classic WoW experience and to stop and smell the roses from time to time. Welcome to Classic WoW Gems. Hello adventurers. On the first episode of Classic WoW Gems, I'd like to explore an interesting part of Scarlet Monastery Armory. Now I know many of you watching this have probably been in this wing of Scarlet Monastery many, many times. However, I'm betting a fair amount of you have not seen all the armory has to offer. Let me first give a bit of background. For those of you that have never been to Scarlet Monastery in the classic era of World of Warcraft, it is a dungeon hub located in Tears Fall Glades with four wings. The graveyard, the library, the armory, and the cathedral. The third wing is the one we'll be visiting today, known as the armory. This wing is full of Scarlet Warriors and serves as an arsenal for the Crusade's weaponry, siege equipment, and armor. And in the final room of the armory is Herod, the Scarlet Champion. Herod is sought after by Shaman and Paladins, but primarily by Warriors for his amazing loot drops which include his helmet, the Raging Berserker Helm, his shoulders, the Scarlet Leggings, and of course his amazing whirlwind procking axe, the Ravager. These rewards are so good that players regularly try their hands at multiple dungeon runs just to get a chance at these pieces. And let's not forget that a unique tabard, the Scarlet Tabard, can drop from the throng of Scarlet trainees that flood into the room after your party has dispatched Herod. Now for most parties this is where the story ends. You either proceed to the Cathedral Wing or try again for one of Herod's loot drops hoping that this time you'll finally get your Ravager. But have you ever stopped to look around this room? There are 11 very large stone statues standing at regular intervals around the room, each of them wielding different weaponry, most of them human, however there appears to be one dwarf and one high elf. And underneath each of these statues are plaques explaining who they are, how they died, and their titles. Now for the sake of exploration, I will not read these. However, I implore you to do so in Classic World of Warcraft. I personally got a lot out of studying these statues and reading the plaques underneath them. It made me understand the Scholar Crusade more. Even though the Crusade is seen as xenophobic and extreme, even by the Alliance forces, getting a glimpse into their origins through these statues was intriguing to say the least. It is clear that the Crusade honored their dead and will never forget the sacrifices that they have made. Little things like this give the world depth and history, which in turn increase our immersion into the game. Here's just another example why you should stop and smell the roses sometimes in Classic WoW. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next Classic WoW Gems. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay tuned for the next Classic WoW Gems. In the meantime, don't forget to leave a like and a comment on this video, and be on the lookout for new Def Camp Melderon TV content. And thank you, patrons, for making videos like this one possible. Keep on keybonding and grinding, baby. I hope to see you in classic Azeroth.